Aquarius, what's good guys? Thank you so much for watching. I'm feeling a little bit better than I was yesterday, so I'm going to get your singles readings done. Thank you so much for watching Mama Faya Tarot. If this is your first time watching, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Today I'm doing singles readings, but I often do couples readings or love readings, uh, past life readings, all types. So hit that subscribe button and that bell to get notified whenever I post. Um, but today I am doing a run of wonderful singles readings. So for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Jupiter. Um, all right, let's see what's going on for my beautiful Aquarius. If you would like a personal reading, that info is in the description box below. I read for everybody in my wellness center along with Wissio, so you can book me there. If you want um, a Zoom meeting, book with everybody in mind. And if you want a video response, you can check me out on Wissio. And also check out thegreenwitchhome.com and use discount code MAMAFAYA to get 10% off. All right, beautiful Aquarii. I got a couple new decks here. I'm trying to get my energies up. We're doing good. We got burning some frankincense for you. All right, let's do this. The bugs are going crazy. I don't know why. I thought the smoke would help, but it's not. So this is interesting. Oh, wow. There's a, a bee, and I'm trying not to be scared. All right. Dear Father God, Mother Earth, Spirit Guides, Angels and ancestors, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering the sacred space, so won't it be. All right, beautiful Aquarius. I can't believe how much the bugs be bugging today. I don't know. They like me a little too much. I think they realize I don't like them. I'll get you. I got it. I you'd think I'd be used to it by now. Ooh, mountains. Stand your ground. Oh, it also fell out with the traveler. So I think my Aquarius really want to travel, but you can't, and that sucks. I'm really sorry about that. Now you have a feeling uh, COVID has entered the building, and, um, you know, you would love to go on vacation. You probably would have went on a couple already. So I'm getting your travel is a bit blocked, but you can still go places. Don't be too afraid. I mean, I don't know. I, I wouldn't travel right now, personally. Um, I want to deeply. I resonate with this, but I'm not gonna, and, you know, um, so we'll see, but you can still make the most of where you're at and try and work around these blocks. Trust in the unknown. Trust that maybe you're being blocked from going somewhere for a very specific reason. It may be in your best interest that you're getting blocked from going somewhere. So trust that there's a reason. Whoa. See beyond the current situation. Yeah, so, like, this is often when, um, you know, you hear someone, you know, getting freaking a flat tire on the way to work and then missing, like, an office shooter or, like, all those stories on 9-11 talking about how someone, you know, avoided disaster because they spilled their coffee everywhere in the morning and missed their train and then weren't at the Twin Towers. You know, like, it's, like, sort of rem reminding me of that. It's like, Aquarius, you're dodging a bullet somehow, but it, you may not realize it, okay? You may not realize that, like, whatever blockage came up for whatever travel you had or whatever p big plan you had, please know it was for your best good, okay? And that, you know, you, you're highly psychic and highly protected. So this could be relationship could be a job could be anything um let's see oh i want to do the tarot of the divine first all right this is my new tarot of the divine it's listed in the deck um listed in the description box below king of coins yeah all right you're very very money focused right now aquarius and i think you're very very um career focused and i think that's good i love the tree growing out of his his shell um the tortoise tortoise i want to say turtle and tortoise um they both kind of it denotes a um element of having to go slow i think that's too many spirit i don't need like 20 cards to go out. these are heavy 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 decks so oh the sun moved all right king of swords i mean sorry knight of swords 
I read that wrong. Knight of Swords. So you, 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 that's very conflicting energy. It's like one minute, you've got to know, all right, I'm getting Kenny Rogers. You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. So yeah, you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them, Aquarius. It seems like a, know when to walk away. So yeah, it's search your intuition because you're super um, psychic here, my Aquarius. And you knew if this, if you were dealing with a king of coins, you knew that you had to get out of there. Like if there's something about this king of coins that maybe you wanted to get away from, you know, might've been a job, um, a job with a really big company or something. Wheel of Fortune. Wow. This is, yeah, you leaving there was meant to happen. You were not, I mean, what I'm getting really strongly, or or you left a person, Aquarius, um, that was meant to happen. I think that you were brought into that person or that job or that entity's life uh, or existence to learn a lot, but also to learn what's not for you. And... That's, I mean, sometimes those are the most important. Wow, this humongous butterfly that I thought was a bird is like right over there. I wonder if it'll come over here. Very cool. I thought the damn thing was a bird. <laughs> All right, six of swords. Yeah, you're out like trout. You're moving towards something way better and something calmer. And while at first this, you know, knight of pentacles may have, you know, whatever this represents... I mean, King of Pentacles, sorry. Um, I am messing up my words big time. Mercury retrograde. Ooh, strength. I like her. Strength, the moon, the sun, and the four coins. Oh, so I think you were afraid to go and you stayed for as long as you did because you, um, you made good money or there was a lot of support from this, this king. And you also had some good times with them, you know? There's ants crawling on my <laughs> cards. Um, but they also created a lot of illusion and a lot of fear. And I think they straight lied to you. You may have had to save up money in order to leave. And that may have taken some time. You know, um, I can even see a woman stuffing money in a mattress or something for a few months. So they could leave an abusive household with this spread. So good for you, Aquarius, if that's what happened. Uh, if you left an abusive workplace, good for you too. Same shit. It's awesome. Um, it's, it's basically getting away from your oppressor is what happened here, Aquarius. I'm really proud of you. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Since I came out here, oh my god, this butterfly is so humongous. Oh my god. I don't know if she's going to come over here. It's humongous. Oh, did it go behind me? I hope it does. I hope it comes to your video, Aquarius, because it's like the size of a bird. All right. Let's just keep it moving, though. I'm getting distracted by the butterfly. That's the problem with being outside. So, but it was so nice. Oh, oh one of the Tarot of the Divines ended up in here. Six of Wands. I like it. I'm going to pull it for you because it doesn't belong. Oh, a couple of them did. Justice and Six of Wands. Interesting. Okay. So, for you, bring in the balance. You have victory coming in during Libra season, which is awesome. Good for you, Aquarius. Um, this reading is making me want to check in with somebody, so it's funny. I'm, I, oh, I got to send a text. With two and Aquarius, friend. All right, let's see. Ooh, four of pentacles. So, yeah, you definitely um, definitely had to save up and conserve your power. And maybe that power was some, some money from a job, and whether you earned it from that place or, um, you know, if this person provided some form of stability. Queen of cups, six of wands. You chose happiness over money. And you're going to have the rest of abundance abundance coming in, victory, because you made the right choice of your emotional health. And that's huge. You are a queen of cups, Aquarius. Like, you are very loving. So tap into that side of yourself. You know, you may have water in your chart. Definitely could have some um, 
Cancer here. I see Libra, uh, Leo, Pisces. A lot of different two two Leo cards strongly. Five of Wands. You may have been conflicted, or the person who you left may have fought you on it big time. They definitely could have like tried to get you to stay, tried to get you to become compliant. Yeah, but Aquarius, you stood in your energy. You put in the work. You know, you had faith and and you you know put in the elbow grease you needed to um, heal and get out of there. I do think that this was, you found either other work or you found something else that worked uh, to find stability because um, you could not stay where you were at. There was way too much conflict. Yeah, you used alchemy. Six of swords, twice. That's the water Uber. You took off. You were gone, gone. So, kiss the bitch goodbye, she gone. All right, good for you, Aquarius. That's awesome. Um, hangman at the bottom of the deck. It's, I do believe it took Aquarius a while to get here, though. But you got here, right? So that's awesome, Aquarius. I'm really proud of you. That's dope. All right, my beauties. All right, my lovely beauties. What's the deck I use next in the other ones? I don't remember. Oh, Oracle. All right, my pretties. Uh, Aquarius. Friendship. Wow, this card has been coming out a lot just in the videos, not even in personals. Uh, and I use this deck for almost every reading I do. So, friendship. Rely on your friends right now. I don't think, I don't see a lot of cups here at all. I don't think that uh, Aquarius is at all focused on love. You're focused on working on yourself and gaining balance after whatever this crazy relationship was, yeah, you found new shelter. You found new a new safe space to live and be. And that wasn't easy for you. I think it took time, and I think it took a lot of money. Um, and good for you. You did what you had to do to get out of a bad situation, Aquarius. And, dude, everybody should take, take notes. Take notes from Aquarius. You, you may have snuck out in the middle of the night. I truly believe you may have done that, Aquarius, where you just packed your shit and left um, at midnight. You know, maybe waited for the person to fall asleep or something, or maybe they work an overnight shift or whatever, whoever you were escaping. Or you may have sent the, the resignation letter overnight through email. Something. You came, you came to that conclusion to leave, I think, really late at night at one point. You know, but the important part is you put in all the work to get out of there. You used your, your psychic gifts as well this whole time. I'm very proud of you for that too, because it's, it can be very, very hard to access that when you're being, it, I'm seeing um, an Aquarius who may have easily been abused by someone or something, um, something being like an entity, like a big company or something like that, toxic work environment, et cetera. Um, let's see, let's see what else is going on. Let's see, oh, I wanna do the Millennial Tarot. That's right, I forgot about this one. It's funny, the other ones, the fire sign ones were um, much longer. This one's very, very quick, but it's a great story. And it's really, really awesome about someone who got the hell out of a really bad situation and and luckily he lived. Wow. Did you see that bumble? All right. That was a big bumble. That was not the same B. Oh, the Bernie disciple. This is the first card I pulled for myself. So you're loyal, liberal, prideful, disenfranchised. This sounds like Aquarius to me. Fighting alongside a leader for affordable health care seems noble. Will defeat lead to helpless embitterment? Or will you pledge your arms to another and continue the fight? All right, your totem is the 99%. All right, so remember, Aquarius, you are the weirdos of the deck. You guys are the ones that aren't afraid to fight the patriarchy. You guys are the ones that, you know, always question authority and, um, and fight for the little guy. 
you know? Um, I think if anybody's ever going to root for an underdog, it's going to be Aquarius, you know, because usually the underdog is Aquarius. So uh, you can completely understand. I can totally see most of the Aquariuses I know. And I was an Aquarius in another life, so um, I feel it. All right. All right, let's see. Let's see, what crystals do my single Aquarius need to get through this week, or what will be most helpful advice for them? Fluorite, find peace within. Yeah, know the hard part's over for you, Aquarius, and now it's just time to find your groove. Um, find your happy place. Find your, you know, inner peace. Um, I'm getting, try and drop the Bernie Disciple thing. And don't, don't feel like you have to fight everything. <clears throat> I feel like I just ate a bug. Did you guys see a bug fly in my mouth? Because that was gross. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be doing many more readings outside. I tried to, like, wake myself up. I didn't see a bug fly in my mouth, but I wasn't looking at myself. <laughs> Gross. Sorry, Aquarius. I don't like doing readings outside anymore. I got attacked by the bugs today. All right, Angelite. Wow. Support is all around you. I use Angelite almost every night for my throat chakra. Almost every night. Um, it's an incredible stone for the throat, but it's also really good for third eye and also amazing um to access your the angels around you or your spirit guides um it's it's one that i have i have quite a few pieces of it um and i love it um i think this this is angel light on here um soda light throat chakra so two blues so try and stay as calm as you can but speak your truth at the same time uh, all right like don't be afraid to stand up for yourself um, it's time to transform. Damn right. You don't need this person for stability. Prioritize your health. Wow. With turquoise. Yeah. Prioritize your health, not your, um, your mental health and your emotional health, uh, and your physical health. If you're in an abusive relationship, getting out of that is imperative for your health overall. Um, and find a way to forgive. Know that this person, anybody who would abuse anybody else was most likely abused, you know? So forgive them. It, I'm getting like, you know, they know not what they do kind of thing. Even if they don't um, apologize, okay? Um, I think you guys are incredible. And, um, you know, it's very hard to forgive someone who's been abusive to you. But... It's not for them. It's for you. You know, I'm going to throw out that cliche. All right, Aquarius. Thank you so much for watching Mama Fire Tarot. Oh, and stay positive. Yeah, good idea. So take good care of yourselves, guys. I love you so much. And thank you so much for watching.